Yo, what's up? My name is Rich. Welcome to another video. This is gonna be like one of the older video style videos that I used to post where I was doing like an Etsy shop, um, you know, like fulfilling orders and stuff. So, um, yeah, I can guess I can give you guys a little bit of an update on that. So earlier this year, I spent a lot of time off of Etsy. I deleted a whole lot of things. Well, I deactivated a whole lot of things so that I could post a lot of YouTube videos earlier this year. But then I quickly realized uh, that was kind of a mistake. So a lot of listings that I deactivated and I put it back on does not have the same ranking stature anymore. So what I did was lower the prices a lot and run sales on it every single day. Pretty much max out the Etsy ad spend. It doesn't even run through the whole thing. Right now I'm doing like $50 a day on it. And uh, it only ends up spending like 10 bucks or so. But I guess I can give you guys an update. Kind of embarrassing compared to what it used to be. But let's get to it. All right, so I gotta make sure it's not showing any of my information. But anyway, so, yep, this is today. Hit refresh for y'all. Today, 471 bucks. So, not what it used to be. I used to average around like a thousand to, to like $2,000 a day. So, the way I do this is, man, I hate doing these videos because I can't even really show y'all my shop because I've done it in the very first few videos that I've taken down and the people that i show they just pretty much ripped off the whole thing which kind of sucks but um the best way i can help is just making videos like this and pretty much explaining what i do and so the way i'm able to build sales is just posting every single day setting a limit of like two to four new designs every single day so some important things to get better in this game every single day is consistently getting better at graphic design Thankfully, I've already have this type of background, but if you don't, it's important that you do um, because there's a whole bunch of little things that you can do easily without having to outsource, like creating a mock-up. And, you know, I have some awesome uh, information on that on the channel already. But when it comes to creating a mock-up, you can pretty much digitally create a design that you don't have and post it on the internet. And then whenever you get a sale, um, you just gotta have a way to produce it. You can do print on demand, but margins are sometimes uh, not as great, but you can do that and focus on sales more. But um, I'm gonna show you guys this real quick. Hopefully it's gonna be blurry. All right, so as you can see, we move stuff around. So I brought some of the stuff back from the basement. I still have a whole bunch of racks left at the basement, but these are um, organizers uh for i think it's for mail and like and you know like classroom i think they're called uh literature dividers so these are all transfers screen printed transfers some are super color if it's like one or two colors it's probably 613 um you can also use fm expressions but their shipping time is a lot slower so in order to focus on time there's two ways i usually do this is if i have a way to fulfill uh, an item myself so I can print out on the white toner printer. So this is it right here, the Unionet white toner printer. I always get asked, do I still use it? I use it every day. So that's one way that you can do it, but there's another method if you don't have a printer, which is what I do a handful of times because it saves a lot of time, but it costs a little more to play, is I get the transfers printer. So I list up thousands of designs on the internet, but you know, this is in small increments. So I list up the design, and when I get a sale, it might only be for 20 bucks or so. But I get it turned into a transfer. Now Supercolor and 613 Originals have fast turnaround time. So my processing time to get the order to the customer is typically between like four to seven business days. 613 and Supercolor ships out like usually within two business days and gets to me on the third or fourth business day. When the transfers come in on that fourth business day, I press the t-shirt, send it to the customer, and it's shipped out between that time frame. So, that's a whole different play from actually having a printer yourself. All you need is a heat press for that. So right now, um, let me see how I can show this to you. All right, so um, this is my setup. It's still the same. Uh, most of the time, my cousin is in here shipping out orders, and I really don't even record when he, he's here, but he's not here today. This is my shipping label, and then this is the transfer beneath. This is how we pretty much set up, and we do the same going down. So. Um, this is a transfer. We got the shipping label on top of it. Same here. So to explain why we do it like that is so that we can pick the order. If you have all the weights typed in on your listings, all you have to do is print out all of the uh, shipping labels at once and then print out all the packing slips. And then you can take the packing slips and the shipping labels and go pick your shirts and put the transfer on top of it and then put the uh, shipping label on top of it. 
So pretty much we'll take this cart, go pick a blank, and then go get the transfer and put it on top of it. And now since this is a new setup here, it's a little different. It's a, it was a little more organized when I was back at home in the basement. So eventually we're gonna have to label all of these with some kind of skewed number so we know exactly which transfer to get. And that way it'll be a lot easier. Right now we only have a few over here, so it's not as crazy to grab it. So I'm gonna go ahead and handle that because my cousin's not here today, but he's typically here all the time. And man, I appreciate you, Alan, because you be doing a lot, but he's helped me out a lot. That's why I'm able to focus on doing a lot of videos and he's back here pressing t-shirts. And whenever we get crazy busy, I usually have my wife help me and then we have another person that typically helps. At the most, we have like four people, but that's whenever we have like uh, some kind of crazy sales, we're running Facebook ads and that type of stuff. But right now, just keeping it slow, having a good time. All right, so check this out. Before I actually heat press and uh, do the actual orders, I'm gonna show you an example of what we usually do whenever we have that set up. So once we have that set up, let's see. No, I can't use that one. So I have this box of messed up t-shirts. All right, so this one's a scrap t-shirt. And I'm just gonna get one of the only ninjas design. And I'm gonna show you an example. All right, so typically we have the t-shirt, we have the transfer laying on top of it, and we have the shipping label. All right, so we know exactly what needs to be pressed. We just take the t-shirt, quick pre-press sometimes, throw this on there, then that goes for 10 seconds. Have our poly bag. Take the transfer off. And look, as soon as I pull it off of the press, I'm already folding it in half. And then all I have to do, all right, let's move the camera. All right, hopefully y'all can still see. So, put this back. So as soon as I press it, I grab it right here. I'm already folding it in half. And all I have to do is do the two sides. Fold it in half, put it in the bag. And if it's the only ninjas order, we put like extra cards and stickers in there. But most of the time it's an Etsy in order. All we do is do this. Just put the shirt in, put the label, throw it to the back. That's it. All right, so now I'm gonna actually press some real orders and uh, I'll talk to you after that. All right, so I have all the orders picked out that we're only doing uh, pre-printed transfers with. It probably took me like 10, 15 ish minutes to pick out the orders. I don't know how many orders there are, um, but we're gonna find out right after we press them. And the time is, let's see, 11.40 a.m. So we're gonna see how long it takes us to do X amount of orders. We'll find out right after this. It's 11.55, come on. It's 11.55, so that took about 15 minutes. And we have, don't know how many orders that is, but let's count it. So typically I will put it in this bag or box right next to me, but I put it on the table so we could count it afterwards. And then we're gonna throw it in the bag. All right, so let's see. Got our bag and our other bags. One, all right, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess I don't need this. Let me twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right, so that was 17 t-shirts. Done within, what was it, 14 minutes? All right, so we got that. Now all we gotta do is put this over here. 
sit over there, wait for the postman to come. But honestly, I've been taking it uh, to the post office myself quite a bit instead of doing pickup because I'm not here 24 seven. All right, I'm gonna sit down at the computer in the other room because I know y'all get dizzy when I talk like this. So let's come over here. All right, so some key takeaways of my business model um, and what happened with like a lot of my sales. Uh, so a lot of my sales came from group sets and all of those listings fell off once I deactivated and once I turned it back on um, it just lost its ranking and its position in this search algorithm so um, a lot of it I've been running like half off sales so that I can get sales and I can slowly get back into the system um, into the search so that I'm more prioritized so some of these t-shirts were making like very small profit um, like it ends up being around like 12, 14 bucks per shirt. But with the transfer, we're talking about like a 15 cent to two, three dollar transfer, depending on if it's single color or full color and like a two, three dollar shirt. So we still profit by like five bucks each or so. And you see how quickly we can get it done. But the whole business model that I do is a, it's been a very grinded out process. It's always just like keep punching until you hit because I'm literally just listing up designs all the time until one of them starts selling. And whenever one of them starts selling, it usually makes everything else worthwhile. It's usually like two, three items out of like the 50 that I post up gains the most amount of sales. But every other listing I post up ends up being like some kind of upsell or once in a while sale that still ends up being worthwhile. Eventually you get a whole bunch of sales on a particular item and then you get a whole bunch of sales here and there for other items but being that you have skill in design you can literally post all the time not only that you can also post designs that you have the rights to that you purchase so you also got to keep that in mind but it's a very grinded out process this is my seventh year doing t-shirts it's been pretty crazy um, every time I think about it and uh, I started with a vinyl cutter all I did was use heat transfer vinyl same thing but I used the heat transfer vinyl for those one-offs fulfill the one-offs and then I ended up turning everything that um, sold well into heat transfers over time. So that's pretty much it. It's just a very grinded out process, slowly, gradually getting more sales. But in the beginning, it feels like you don't get anything at all. But um, to get like bigger paydays, bigger, nice, uh, sales is whenever like we're running Facebook ads on particular t-shirt designs and stuff like that And that's whenever we're running crazy with like, you know, if you've seen on Instagram I'll post every once in a while more so last year Than this year. It's like when we have like bags to like ship out like crazy So those are good But that takes a little bit more work and putting time into your website and that really helps if you have more design skill because there's a lot of little things that you need to know whenever it comes to building a website like you know resizing something that you would much rather know how to do that yourself rather than have to outsource it every single time a lot of small things so i highly recommend practicing your design skills so that you can get better at that and one other thing i want to mention is um you know like on something like a marketplace etsy amazon it's greater to uh yeah, it's good to have a lot of listings, but your design has to be good as well. And it has to be the right product. And there's a lot of variables to it. Sometimes I hear, oh, I have over hundreds of listings up. And I'm not getting any sales. Well, it might be the wrong product design. And then you get another 10 designs up and you're practicing on another variable, such as the design, but it might not be the right product yet. And then you're saying, oh, I have 110 listings that I have up and I'm still not getting sales not really you pretty much just have 10 listings up because then you start it over and then those 10 might not even be the right variable that you touched on either you might have uh the better design but you don't have the right product yet and then whenever you have the right product and the right design and then you get another 10 listings up and then you're like oh i have 120 designs up i'm not getting any sales no you only have another 10 designs anytime you fix a variable you pretty much got to grind it out and try it out again test the market so with that being said I hope that helped. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. I appreciate y'all so much. I'm trying to do some kind of giveaway on OnlyNinja.com. Of course, I do the giveaway with, with the every single purchase as an entry into the giveaway. Um, the last one, I forgot his name. Who won? Oh, I think his name was Victor. Victor won. Victor won out of New York. He got a heat press on Heat Press Nation and a vinyl cutter. The vinyl cutter came in. The heat press still on the way. 
but only ninjas four the previous giveaway i've already selected two different winners the first person didn't answer the phone or uh answered the email second person as well we're about to have to pick a third person for the fourth giveaway so make sure you check your emails or answer the phone whenever if you're joining those onlyninjas.com giveaways but right now we're almost at 100,000 subscribers make sure y'all follow me on instagram because i might make some stories on like what we should do for the giveaway follow me on instagram let me know what y'all want to do man i appreciate y'all come like subscribe i hope that helped you out if it did let me know down below i'm gonna see y'all next time hey hustle ninja thanks for watching Remember, if you want to support the channel and have the chance to win a giveaway to help your clothing brand, be sure to check out OnlyNinjas.com. Also, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And stay hustling.